Hey everybody, it's Ben here and I just got a new electric vehicle project. Uh, no, it is not this car behind me. We already did a video on that. That's been a great car. Uh, but basically I saw an electric vehicle for sale, non-working condition, and I thought, you know what? I think I could get a really good deal if I bought it and fixed it up. And part of the reason why is I have a brother who did pretty much the same thing not too long ago. So I thought if I get stuck, I could uh, use his assistance and his experience with getting it fixed up. So I ended up getting the cheapest flight that I could to 700 miles away to go look at this vehicle. Uh, the plan was that hopefully it was exactly as described. I could rent a U-Haul and a car trailer and haul it home. So first of all, what is this vehicle? Well, it is a non-running, 2013 Tesla Model S. The passenger door does, uh, the passenger window does not roll down and it seems to have a little bit of an issue with the air suspension as well. But the main thing is it just doesn't operate. You can't drive the car. Uh, on top of that, uh, the 12 volt battery was dead. So picking it up was kind of a bit of a hassle uh, without the, um, the air suspension working properly. The car was very, very low. Uh, this made it a little bit more difficult to load onto a trailer. Uh, on the way back from renting the U-Haul, I stopped at Harbor Freight and bought a come along. Uh, and unfortunately, the towing eye bolt was also missing from the car. So I had to loop some straps through the front bumper instead of being able to use the, the proper towing point. Uh, was a lot of work, but I did eventually get it up on the trailer, started driving home, Man, that was a long return trip. Uh, driving through the mountains at night and just the, the distance and driving by myself. And with those car trailers, you have to keep it to 55 miles an hour. So it took a long time to get home. Now, when I finally did, at least at home, I was able to use my Electrac electric riding lawnmower to be able to get the vehicle off of the trailer, move it up my driveway, and eventually into my garage. Then at that point, I needed to be able to jack up the car. And unfortunately, there's only four really legitimate jack points on an older Tesla Model S. Uh, otherwise, the whole bottom of the car is battery. And I needed to make sure that uh, there would be room to get the battery out. Um, and because of that, I wanted to use cribbing which was essentially, I used two by fours uh, to uh, cut them up, uh, make a stack of lumber, which could support the car, uh, one block under each of the four wheels. And then that way I wouldn't have jacks and jack stands in the way of getting the battery out of there. Now, the reason why I needed to get the battery out is because there was the BMS 123 error. And that error basically says water in the battery. And that's what makes this into Eh, like not a minor project. This is potentially uh, a pretty big deal. <clears throat> so uh, because of that, I've got my brother Rob coming out uh, so that we can work on this together because he's taken a battery off of a Tesla Model S not too long ago. So I can uh, rely on his experience a bit. So uh, this is gonna be my project. I'm just gonna crank away on this really quickly because I know that if I don't have the time, if I don't have the budget, if I don't have the skills and experience for something, uh, a project can end up turning into kind of a long-term thing. That's not what I want with this. So I have some time, uh, budget uh, set aside for this. And then uh, my brother is coming out just for a limited time. So we need kind of quick turnaround, get the battery out, fix it up, put it all back together. And hopefully this car will run, will it? I don't know, you'll just have to tune in next time to find out. So uh, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel. Make sure to check the notifications so that you get all notifications. And until next time, stay charged up.